breathing isn't something that many of us think about. And actually overthinking your breathing can make you feel paranoid. Take a moment to time how many breaths you take in a minute. Most healthy adults take between 12 and 20 breaths per 60 seconds. But our breathing should actually be much slower than this. In fact, it's recommended that we take between 6 and 8 breaths per minute. Although breathing is one of the things that our bodies do constantly, most of us still don't know how to breathe optimally and improve our blood oxygen levels. This video will provide you with some handy tips about how to naturally improve the oxygen levels in our blood. First off, let's look at why our bodies need oxygen in the first place. It's estimated that 90% of our energy comes from oxygen alone. When we breathe, we take in oxygen, which is then transported around the blood to every cell in the body. At the same time, carbon dioxide is exhaled, which is also important, as we don't need this compound in our bodies. All our living processes are fueled by oxygen. Oxygen is used by cells to break chemical bonds in food molecules like proteins, carbohydrates, and sugars, which release energy. The majority of our cells rely on energy to survive, and all of them need oxygen. Providing our cells and muscles with oxygen doesn't just help us perform physical activity, it also keeps us alive. We know the importance of oxygen for our cells and bodily functions, Generally, the greater amount of oxygen we can take in, the healthier we'll be. There are a number of ways to boost your blood oxygen level. These include adjusting certain environmental factors and training your body to obtain more oxygen through exercise and breathing techniques. Here are the best methods of boosting the amount of oxygen in your blood. 1. Get plenty of fresh air. When the weather is warm enough, open your windows, allowing fresh air into your home. Dedicate half an hour per day for a walk outside. Fresh air is one of the best sources of oxygen and should energize you instantly. Your local air quality will vary depending on where in the world you live. Urban areas are more susceptible to smog and pollution. In this case, it'll be healthier for you to invest in an air filtration system rather than opening your windows. This will purify the air in your home. 2. Increase your water intake. Just like oxygen, water is an essential ingredient for everyday health. The lungs need to be hydrated to effectively oxygenate and expel carbon dioxide. If you don't drink enough water, it could affect your respiratory processes. The amount of water we drink can have an impact on our overall oxygen levels. Make sure you're drinking at least 2 liters of water per day. If you often forget to drink, buy a 2-liter water bottle or pitcher and fill it in the morning making sure you've emptied it completely by the end of the day. 3. Eat iron-rich foods There are certain foods that can have an impact on our oxygen intake. Iron, for instance, is one of the most important minerals for the red blood cells, which transport blood to the cells and muscles in the body. One of the most common signs of an iron deficiency is tiredness and weakness, which is caused by the reduced ability of our red blood cells to carry blood around the body. There are plenty of iron-rich foods to add to your diet if you think you may have an iron deficiency. Green leafy vegetables such as spinach, broccoli, and kale are all great sources of iron. Whiz them into a smoothie if you're not a fan of their texture. Legumes, apples, and lean proteins like fish, eggs, and poultry are also packed full of iron. If you're really struggling to take in the iron you need, consider using iron supplements. You can buy these online or from most health stores. Four. Exercise every day. Exercise seems to be the solution to every health problem, so it's no surprise that it can also help to boost oxygen levels. The better our bodies can be at using and obtaining oxygen, the greater our energy levels. Increasing how much oxygen you use, which can be achieved through exercise, can help to strengthen our cells' endurance. There is a definite link between the amount of oxygen we breathe in and our performance. The higher the oxygen uptake, the better performing our cells and therefore our bodies will be. Exercise such as sprint and interval training can be particularly helpful in boosting endurance, but if you're not up for something so intense, try speed walking. 5. Practice breathing It might seem a little strange to practice doing something you've done naturally since birth, but a lot of us aren't breathing as efficiently as we could be. If you want to increase the amount of oxygen in your blood, exercise alone isn't enough. There are plenty of deep and slow breathing exercises that can be used to increase the oxygen level in your blood. Optimal breathing can bring supplemental oxygen into the respiratory system, 
allowing it to be more effectively transported around the body. Deep breathing practices can do more than just increase your oxygen level, they can also help improve your concentration and reduce stress. One simple breathing exercise is diaphragmatic breathing. Here's how to do it. Start by sitting with your back straight with one hand placed on your stomach and the other on your chest. Inhale through your nose slowly and deeply until your stomach is fully expanded. Exhale out of your mouth slowly and steadily. Repeat the exercise for up to 15 minutes. 6. Grow Green Things When the weather is bad and you can't open your windows, growing green things in your home will increase the oxygen available indoors. There are plenty of plants that are both aesthetically pleasing and oxygen boosting. Ferns are a great choice in particular. They're low maintenance and don't need a lot of sunlight. Storing a plant or two in your living room or home office should help you to feel more alert and energized. 7. Practice Mindfulness We've touched on breath training already, and mindfulness is similar. However, rather than focusing on how you breathe, mindfulness requires you to completely empty your mind in meditation. If you've never meditated before, you may find it difficult to commit to. It's worth looking into guided meditations, especially those with a focus on deep breathing. You'll be instructed to breathe in for several seconds, followed by a deep breath out. It may feel uncomfortable at first, but your body will soon become used to the slower pace of breathing. Even just 5 to 10 minutes of meditation per day can relax and focus your breathing, helping to reduce stress and boost your oxygen levels. The tips in this guide should help improve your blood oxygen level naturally. For the most part, our lungs are designed to efficiently take in oxygen without outside support. But adding certain foods to your diet, getting lots of exercise, and practicing breath work can provide additional benefits to the lungs. Keep in mind that if you've been diagnosed with a lung disease like asthma or COPD, the actions in this guide alone may not be enough to increase the amount of oxygen in your blood to a healthy level. While getting plenty of expertise and adding green leafy vegetables to your diet will be good for your overall health, your body may require additional medical support. Speak to your doctor if you're concerned about your blood oxygen levels. If your oxygen levels are above normal, you may be referred to a medical specialist who can prescribe suitable treatment such as oxygenation to optimize your lung health. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to improve oxygen levels in your body naturally. Thanks for watching and bye for now.